Neil, as you know, Blazers fans are very knowledgeable. They know this is a business, but they're also very passionate about their team and loyal to their players. So for those who are wondering, why Mason Plumley and why right now? Well, you know, look, Mason's impending free agency was certainly a factor. Uh, we love Mason. We're going to miss him around here. Uh, we wouldn't have been in the second round of the playoffs last year without him. But there are certain realities to managing our cap. Uh, we felt like we needed to get younger at the center position. We wanted more of a low post player, someone that could defend size, strength. Uh, we found that with Yusuf. Mm -hmm. And look, this is the hard part of the business is you have guys you get attached to, but you've got to make business decisions. And we felt like in the long run, this will pay longer dividends to having a younger guy on a rookie scale. We manage our cap with it. Um, he gives us a different look defensively. Uh, he's a big time rebounder. And I think he'll make the game easier for guys like Damon CJ because we've got more presence in the paint now defensively. The February 23rd trade deadline is fast approaching, and naturally, fans are curious if there will be more moves made by the Blazers. Can you speak to that? Well, we're active. Um, you know, look, I think this roster was always going to be a work in progress. Um, you know, we have the benefit of having Paul Allen as an owner. He let us retain all of our players. Um, it wasn't realistic to think we could manage that cap going forward. But what it did do is it put us in a position to keep as much as possible, give ourselves a chance to compete, but knowing at some point we're going to have to make some moves. I think Mason is an example of that. It's not a player we wanted to lose, but the reality is from a cap standpoint, we just we needed to go average down the salary, but maintain our ability to compete you know, now and in the future with not losing someone at that position. So I can't speak to any specifics. I can tell you that the league is very active right now. What we're most excited about is having three picks in this draft. Uh, I think we've We've done a very nice job in the draft so far, whether it's using draft picks to acquire players like we did with Robin Lopez or Mason Plumley, or drafting guys like Dame and CJ and, and AC. So we're excited about the prospect of that. It's a big time draft. It's got incredible depth. Um, we'll be excited about it in June, but we now also have those tools for the next 10 days to put into play if a player that will impact our win total, it comes available. How would you like to see the remainder of this season play out? You know, I want to see us just continue to compete. Um, you know, we've it's it's ironic. You know, we've been in a lot of games. Um, Terry and the players have done a great job of making comebacks, keeping us competitive, and a lot of them, you know, some 50-50 balls just haven't gone our way. Some other teams have made big-time shots, and ours haven't gone down. But, you know, we're probably six-point swing overall from being, you know, a six or a seven seed versus where we are today. So, you know, we're right there, right on the cusp. You know, we miss ET, obviously. Uh, it'll take a little while for Yusuf to kind of get acclimated to our system. But, you know, we're always going to compete, you know, being led by guys like Dame and CJ. You know, we have a chance to win every night. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep rolling the ball out there, giving ourselves the best chance to win. We're going to compete for that last playoff spot. But we're also going to take a long-term view to building the roster. Really appreciate your time, Neil. Yep, thanks.